Hi guys, Doug here. It's been a while since I've done any updates. Um, very busy with life stuff and everything else. Just a quick update. Um, wanted to show you guys how I'm cooling my bedroom with solar power. And I'm about to set up two panels. So I'll walk you through it. So I know you guys have seen a lot of these. I picked up one of these. I'm actually quite impressed with it. I have my window unit AC. My house has central air, but the second floor does not seem to work very well. Um, this has been running from 100% battery down to 66% battery over the last 14 hours. So right now I've got this this cable that I've built that's going to run down to two solar panels. So I'm going to drop this cable out the window and get that set up. So basically what I'm just going to do is I'm going to drop this out through here. Make sure it gets over the edge of the roof. Sorry about that. I got one. Oh. Almost. Trying to do this without a ladder. Yeah, perfect. Now I'll just feed it down. And I'll see you downstairs. Alright, so you guys can see that the wire came down over here. These are the two panels I am going to use. These are 530 watt panels. So, I'm going to get these set up. All right, so the panels are set up. The sun is right there. Something like that angle. And it will move in a way where these will have sunlight for most of the day. So we're gonna go back in and we're going to test the polarity of the cable to make sure I did the cable correctly. And then we'll plug it in. Alright, so I'm back in here. And we'll test the polarity to make sure that I got these correct when I made this cable.
I'm getting 91 volts and it looks correct so I'll reverse these sorry for the moving around and if I reverse these and they go negative we should be good negative 91 all right so since this EcoFlow Pro this is the one that takes the EV charging cable too which I like um, I'll take one or two of these in the car with me when I travel I'm gonna plug in this and now I'm going to plug it into here Now we can see picking up solar, picking up 470. Now we're past the amount of watts my air conditioner is using. Could probably adjust the panels to bring the wattage up. So let me go do that. As you can see, I adjusted the panels. So now we're bringing in 730. Three watts of solar it's morning time so we're not even at peak Sun for these panels probably in about two hours we should get more so I'll update in about two hours meanwhile I'm going to let this air conditioner run all day on solar I know this is probably not exciting for everybody but Hey, I'm uh, trying to cut my electricity costs. And here in Maryland, in June, it gets hot really fast. So I'll see you in a few hours when we're at uh, peak sunlight for these panels. So I'm back, and the air conditioner is set on 68 and has been running for, I don't know, four hours it is 70 degrees in here we have 611 watts coming in 504 going out to the AC right there 100% battery is running well the cable I made I used 12-2 low voltage um, electrical cable and it actually seems to do pretty well with solar panels I did have a peak solar of about 845 watts I was not actually here to get that I will try to post a screen cap somewhere in the video but thanks for watching I'm quite impressed with this unit I'm waiting to see what else I can do with it I just bought this literally for my electric car traveling and as a toy and I figured I'd use it to supplement my uh, my power for the AC in the second floor and it seems to be running good because the main central air has not kicked on nearly half as much and I think we're only at about um, 14 kilowatts for today stay tuned for more videos I got a lot of projects I need to catch up on and I will be doing some videos for them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.